Thank you, Pastor. Thank you. I appreciate that. Glory be to God. Turn your Bibles to uh, Genesis chapter 5. Amen. Those that are brought your word, and let's dive in, all right? Because, uh, woo, the, the Lord is, he is so awesome to behold. Am I right about it? Yes. Oh, the Bible says what? Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Amen. And the Bible says he is sweeter than honey on a honeycomb, praise God. Amen. When I start thinking about the goodness of the Lord, I start getting all excited. You know, sometimes I just get that feeling in my knees and my legs. I want to begin to do a little hop, hop, skip, and jump because, you know, I'm so grateful for what he's been doing. And waking up in the morning, you know, I didn't have to wake up this morning. And I didn't have to be able to see this morning or to have the activity of my limb, but the good Lord did it for me. Yes. Glory be to God. I don't take that lightly, amen. And I, that's how you all uh, should be out there in the internet land and my brothers and sisters here, amen. When you get up, yeah, use your limbs to praise God. Yes. Use your eyes to praise God. Amen. amen. Begin to walk around in your bedroom and start giving God praise, amen. Yes. Sometimes you feel like praising them, yes. and sometimes you don't. We all been there, but by faith, what we got to do? Praise him anyhow, amen? amen? Glory be to God, because he created us, amen? amen? Genesis chapter 5, just so much today, I mean, topics just flowing all over the place. <laughs> Glory to God. Uh, those that's reading, amen, you can read along with me. Anybody got the Bibles? We're going to get some King James Bibles real soon so we can... Amen. And I can have you all taking turns reading passages. Praise God. This is the book of the generations of Adam. Mm -hmm. In the day that God created man, in the day that God created man in his likeness of God, he him. Male and female created he them and blessed them and called their name Adam. In the day when they were created and Adam lived and 130 years and begot his son in his own likeness after his image and called his name self and the days of Adam after he had begotten self were 800 years old somebody say that's old say I, I was an old man did you all see what I the scriptures it said he was 800 years old and still fertile still being fruitful I mean could you, you ever been in the presence of an 800 year old person uh oh <laughs> my god it's kind of hard to fathom difficult to think about that and all the days that Adam lived were uh oh now he's still living some more y'all 930 years and then he died. 930 years. And God says, Time, it's your time. You uh, did your work on the earth. You did your ministry. You raised up your sons and daughters. I need you now up here. Somebody say, Uh oh. I'm going to go ahead and start preaching right now. There are some people that die prematurely. There's some that died, seems prematurely, but by the sovereignty and the wisdom of God, it was their time to go. It's either or. Praise God. Sometimes the ministers in the earth say, if you don't fulfill your destiny down here, it's too late. Uh, if you didn't finish the work that God, you know, you can be cut off or go to hell or something like that. You're going to be judged because you didn't. And I understand there are scriptures that talks about that in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 3 when the judgment seat of Christ is taking place. Amen. He begins to look at our works. We're going to present our works on the judgment seat of Christ. 1 Corinthians chapter 3. So I understand the theologians going in that manner. God's eternal kingdom, it's eternal. His kingdom was never created. Uh, cities like this beautiful skyline of Chicago, Lakeshore Drive, all of that head up, 
element of creation. It wasn't always there, amen. And uh, all of the different suburban areas in this city, all of that had to be created. Uh, London is a beautiful place in, in many areas, right? France, any of you all been to Europe? Have some of you all been to Europe in the spirit? <laughs> you know I was going to be teasing you all tonight. God will take place in the spirit. Yeah, he will travel. He, he can travel those in the spirit. But praise God, there's a lot of beautiful places. Uh, when a saint dies, and it may be prematurely, the enemy could have gotten in there. Maybe some of our rebellious acts, sinful natures, that could have opened doors to our premature to let the enemy come in. Uh, there are times, some of you all know this, where God would take an individual a little early than what we anticipated. There are times where God has to call that individual back home because there is a work going on in the third heavens. There is kingdom business taking place. Do I got a witness? Amen. There's service going on. There's, there's love going on. There's duties that's taking place. Anybody got any saved loved ones that went on to be with the Lord? Yes. Oh, my God. You know they're having a great time. <laughs> Amen. They, they're having a, oh, it's, it's, a, it's a, 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 a jubilous, jubilee time. All the time, even when they got to work up there, even when they have to serve, it's just they just filled with the glory. They filled with excitement. Amen. And they're looking down and praying that we obey God and, and do what Jesus is telling us to do. Amen. But God is good and he's merciful. Amen. Sometimes God will take individuals early because by his sovereign wisdom and his grace, he needs them because they have a position to fulfill. Uh, my apostle, around 63 years old, somewhere around 63, 68, you know, we was all upset that, that the apostle transitioned in 2015. Very hurtful situation. Uh, going through for three years with the breathing, um, standing up straight, trying to focus, just a, a lot came on the apostle. But uh, the, the Lord and his sovereign, he began to you know, do what he needed to do. We don't understand. Mm -hmm. Praise God. But I got a ma major word from the Lord. Apostle got to heaven by the grace of God through the blood of Jesus Christ. And they had a party for the apostle for one week <laughs> in heaven. One week. A special part. And our apostle, you, you trained under her as well. Oh, she, she knew how to party on earth. She would take the whole month of the birthday and that was the whole celebration that I think it was June or July. Right. And she said this the entire month I'm celebrating. <laughs> you know, because uh, she loves to enjoy life. Right. And uh, I got a major word that came to me, you know, I was just trying to, you know, we're figuring things out with no morning. But they threw a party um, for the apostle for one week in heaven. Isn't that beautiful? She's teaching a lot of the new saints that come up there that wasn't trained down here. There's classes specifically where God has Apostle McMillian. And she teaches a lot of the new folk that just come to that place called heaven. And you know, they're being shown around and escorted. And she's got the privilege and honor to be able to have different schools of the prophets. You know, and, and, and meeting Isaiah and Ezekiel the prophets. Amen. Elisha, you know, the privilege to meet these patriarchs and these prophets. Praise God. And uh, the word of the Lord came to another prophet to share with me. Uh, our apostles able to help us greater than she could while she was on the earth. She's able to help us greater now where she is in heaven than where she was on the earth physically with us. You, you all catch that? You know why? Because there's nothing but perfection as she decrees and declares. As a cloud of witnesses get together, they don't miss when they pray. It's all perfect. Amen. They know exactly what to say for that cousin that's, that's going away with it. Out there, you know, living a hard life and enjoying sin and all kinds of rebellious. You know how some of our loved ones are. You know how we were. You know, even myself, I had that cursing demon. Amen. Stealing, 
I mean, so sad that I would take money from my sisters and brothers and, and begin to go in their purse and take money and things like that. You know, that's a terrible thing. Uh, so, you know, we know what rebellious is. We know what rebellious is like. Sometimes we get so saved, we forget, don't we? <laughs> you know, we tend to forget it. Uh, we enter into the realm of holiness so deep. You know, we get a little sidetracked because we don't know how to relate to the sinner man no more. You know, we don't want to be friends and don't want to talk. You know, we've been there before. We don't want to get down dirty and shake a hand or be able to look somebody in the eye and hug them up. Amen. But by the grace of God, the prayers from the cloud of witnesses, they do not miss. Sometimes God would take his people early and we don't understand sometimes there's a premature that we uh, die prematurely due to things that we just don't understand amen Jesus he was took in would y'all say early yeah did it seem like this it was kind of early 33 years 33 and a half years somewhere around there he stayed down here 33 years Adam he was here 930 years. Ooh, could you imagine the things that he learned? Do you think he traveled the entire world? Do you think he was able to visit? You know, just, I mean, that's a lot of years. You live 80 years, you're doing real good. You, you're doing, if you make it to 80, what well, we've been here in the past 30 years, I think that person's doing real well. <laughs> Amen? Yeah. Now, in the scriptures it says, Adam was uh, 930 years old and he died. Verse 6, uh, Genesis chapter 5. And Seth lived 105 years and begot Enos. And Seth lived after he begot Enos. 807 years. Anybody got a Bible? Okay. By the grace of God, I'm going to get these King James Bibles and pass them out. Because I want you all to begin to circle, underline. You might want to put red highlights, blue highlights to really, you know, help, help the word to grasp the, uh, the lessons and things like that. You're going to really need to highlight some stuff. Tell somebody, I've already been highlighting a lot, Pastor. You 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 a day late and a, and a dollar short, <laughs> right? You guys already been on it. I know that's right, but I marked my Bible up in 1994. Jesus saved. I was going to hell. Yeah, I was, you know, and I knew I was going to hell too. And I said, Mom and Dad, y'all going to heaven? Because I see your life. I see their life. And they saw my life, but they didn't judge me. But they would say, you know, we, we welcome you to the house of God. You know, uh, you haven't been here for five or six years, but you're always welcome. And I thank God that they never stopped inviting me. My nephew, he said, oh, man, Linda went to church. Cynthia went to church. Charles went to church. His daughters. My nephew, little small. I had about two nephews. They had named all the people that went to church. I'm in the basement, you know, uh, sleeping late. One hour with the, on a Bears game, you know, and one hour, uh, you know, half sleep, you know, because the Bears. <laughs> but the Chicago Bears was my God. The Chicago Bulls, who, what? That was my God. Michael Jordan, that was my God. Uh, I didn't watch hockey too much, but hey, they winning, hey. Uh, I wasn't into baseball too much, but, you know, I would check them out every now and then. Sports was my God. Things that I put before God, those that was my God. I had a lot of little false gods and idol gods. <laughs> Video games. Video. I put that before God. I, I invested a lot of time playing Street Fighter <laughs> and uh, Pac-Man. <laughs> I invested a lot of time playing Centipede and um, Pooh. Anybody used to play Pooh? You know. So just a lot of things that look recreation. Amen. But uh, praise God. I told my mom and dad, 
y'all going to heaven, I'm going to hell. But I thank God that the Lord didn't give up on me. Amen. Because I had a lot of friends that died. I mean, it's terrible. It's terrible, the friends that I used to hang with and kick. Many of them got cut off. They, they got shot. Most of them were murdered. And that is a frightening thing to uh, you know reflect on because it could have been me. You know, it could have been you, right? Because you never know what the enemy is planning. And, we, and we're not obeying God and we're not praying like we, you know, but that's, see how good God is? We're still here. Glory be to God. We're in the land of the living, y'all. Your heart is beating. Like, do, 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 do. It's like, I love you. That's what God is saying. Right. Do, do, I love you. Right. Every time that heart is pulled, say, right? Do, do, Jesus loves you. Yes, Jesus loves you. I love you. Father's talking to us, singing over us. Yes. Glory to God. Amen. Yeah, so self lived a long time, 807 years. Yeah, that's a long time, isn't it? And all the days of self were 912. This is Genesis chapter 5. And Enos lived after he begot uh, Canaan 815 years. And he begot sons and daughters. And all the days of Enos were 905 years. I'm going to skip over. Glory be to God. 26. Verse and Methuselah, he lived after he begot Lamech 782 years and begot sons and daughters. And all the days of Methuselah were 969. Methuselah was 969 years old. Jesus, his time was up at what age? 33. How many other people got uh, summits to heaven in the Bible that was young? Can you all kind of reflect for a minute before I close? But that's just something to reflect on because it's, it's the world of the kingdom. Because it was quite a few. We know some kings got called early to the king's office. How, how old was? Eight. Eight years old? Mm -hmm. King Josiah was only eight years old. There was a king in the first Kings and Corinthians. Mm -hmm. And there's another king, I think he was like eight years old. It was Josiah. And uh, there it, it was a few. That were young. Yeah, I think Hezekiah might have been called, I remember he was like 25. Mm -hmm. When he was ordained, God began to speak to him. But there's a lot of people that was called, er oh my goodness. Mary, y'all. Mm -hmm. She was called at a young age to do God's work and to be able to be the chosen woman. Mm -hmm. And to be able to be uh, impregnated by the Holy Spirit to have Jesus come on the earth. Miraculous conception. Mm -hmm. But she was a young girl. 14. Some say 14, some say 16. Many say she was a teenager. Amen. Uh, Elijah, I'm not sure how old he was, but uh, God said it was time. He began to send chariots and horses to get him out of this earth. I don't know how old he was, but it was a few men. Some of the apostles, some of them may have been in their 40s and 50s when they was uh, persecuted or martyred. Some of them, was they didn't really reach but in the Old Testament, uh, God prolonged life. Number one, because of the blessing on man. They was destined to live forever. They was commissioned to walk in everlasting life. They was uh, prophesied over by the Father to be able to experience uh, fulfillment of life, uh, eternal life. We was built to live forever. Glory be to God. And that's one of the first reasons God prolonged life. And uh, God began to uh, see the disobedience of Adam. And Adam almost made it to a thousand years. He would have. 
but you know, as he began to uh, eat from the fruit of the tree, sin came into the world and he began to get separated from God. You notice in the scripture that he was ashamed. That's what sin does, because I was so ashamed. But I just was playing a lot of it off. And I was uh, out, out doing, doing my heathen things. I was ashamed. That's why I didn't come to church. Because I was so ashamed. And I was so condemned and so guilty. But by the grace of God, amen, he began to touch my heart and get a hold of me in 1994. Glory be to God. Around the time O.J. Simpson was being chased by all those cops in uh, California on that highway. That season, that's when I got born again. I began to, I don't know what I was doing, but the Lord was drawing me. I, I didn't have the words to articulate, but that's the season. The Bulls won that championship around June, you know, so, you know, that was my God in that sucker. Because I watched Jordan and Pippen and Horace Grant. I used to love them, them characters. And uh, around the time O.J. Simpson was, uh, and, and Al, I was trying to calm O.J. down. You know, uh, be calm, calm down. You know, everything's going to be all right and all of this. But that's the season I got saved. Mm -hmm. God drew me back into the house of God. Amen. You know, and I was like, wow, I couldn't believe I was there because I felt so bad. Because I loved most of the sins I was doing. I, I got to admit, I loved it. Mm -hmm. You know, it was just uh, 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 a little trick of the enemy. You know, he tricks. So uh, he began to trick uh, Eve. Satan got into the serpent. And Eve uh, bit from the fruit. Eve noticed nothing happened. Everything was still the same. And then Eve brought the fruit to Adam. You all know the story. Adam uh, bit from the forbidden fruit of the tree of life, of the, the tree of uh, knowledge of good and evil. Amen. And uh, that's when God began to speak. He was looking for him. Sin separated Adam and Eve from the glory of God. God came in the garden looking for them walking. He was walking and he was looking for the way you at. Amen. You know, that's how God sometimes today he's looking for us. Don't you all feel God looking yes, for you sometimes? sometimes. Yeah. Like, like come on, pray. Come on. Yeah. And I'd be thinking about it, doing something else, and he'd be in my spirit beckoning me. And I'd be like, okay, hold on. And you go, sometimes you it, it don't mm -hmm. you don't catch it right away. You be okay, wait a minute. And you try to think about yeah. natural things, mm -hmm. but something in the back in the backdrop, right in the spirit realm, is pulling you. Yes. Glory be to God. And say, come on, talk to me. Yes. Come and pray, pray. Amen. Amen. At any given moment. Yeah. You're like, Lord, Lord, I'm on the computer trying to get finish up the payroll. <laughs> trying to finish up the accounts for the uh, you know, my boss, I gotta get these in. You know, Lord's talking to you. Uh oh. <laughs> the hair stand up on your shoulders. You feel like a presence of came in the room, you know. You're in the bathroom putting your lipstick on, uh, fixing your collar, you know, man of God, you're fixing your tie, you're getting some things adjust, and you begin to sense God. You know, that's how God is. He's a personal God. He's a God that desires relationship. Yes. Amen. That, that's, our, that's our goal, to walk with him. Glory to God, to begin to commune with him. Amen. You, you get that in order. Nothing can stop you. Can nothing stop you when you get that part, that portion in order. When the, the first fruits of your day and, you know, you begin to take time out five minutes, ten minutes. And talk to the Lord. Tell him how much you love him. Yes. Glory be to God. So the uh, number one reason why these men live old like this, uh, they was prophesied to be eternal beings. They was made in the image and the likeness of God. We're made in the image and the likeness of God. And the, the second reason he prolonged life is to give these men and these women a, a space and a time to repent for their sin. Some of the life was prolonged. But the number one reason for prolonged life was the commanded blessing to live. And so Adam would have made 1,000, but the sin came in from his disobedience. We were built to live eternally. Amen? Amen. Praise God, because that's the Father. He's our Father. Our Father is eternal. He's not temporary. And he's, he's not uh, short on, on, on his words. He's not limited in anything. Everything about God is what? Overflow. Everything about him is abundance. Everything about our Father is what? Increase. Amen. El Shaddai, what does that mean? 
I think that means uh, the many breasted one. I was going to say that. I forgot. You know, I think that's what it means. Many breasts. Many breasted one. Because some of us need some milk today, don't we? Tell, tell your neighbor, one of the men got like, what you mean? <laughs> but I tell your neighbor, uh, the sincere milk of the word. Yeah. Sometimes I, I, I can't handle the meat, yes. but that milk of the word. Mm -hmm. But that's one of God's characteristics, many breasted. Some of the animals, you understand, pigs, yes. cats, they have a, the female have a lot of breasts yes. in, in the animal kingdom. So God's, uh, one of his names is the many-breasted one who supplies the, the milk, the comfort. El Shaddai, what does that mean? What about El El Young? That's the most high God of Israel. You know, amen. Everything about God is uh, unlimited. There's people that have been living in heaven, Abraham, there's things that they haven't saw yet. There's things that Adam, he's been up there a long time. There's things that he never saw yet. There's always something being revealed, even if you live with God for a million years. There's always something new to learn when you're up there in the third heavens. Can you all sense that? Now God is deep, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Turn to Psalms uh, 91. And then we'll go to Ephesians. Amen. Long life, praise God. So Psalms 91, this is what it's saying. Glory be to God. Amen. He desires long life for us. And, it, and if he take y'all early, you know what? It's still in his will. You're going to be up there serving, loving, encouraging. You're going to be using your gifts and talents in heaven. You got to use what he gave you. And it's not over just in case after God takes us early. Amen. Uh, God wants us to have eternal life. That can be your declaration. You might not understand. We might not understand if you want to take some early, but always prophesy and decree and declare long life. Oh, Amen. Because oh, you, when, you, when you transition, oh, that's long life. Eternal. Amen. Amen. Now, Psalms 91. Glory be to God. Uh, this is a very encouraging uh, scripture. We started Psalms 91, uh, glory be to God, verse 11. Psalms 91, verse 11. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon shall thou tremble under his feet, because he hath set his love upon me, Therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high. These are the promises of God. Because he had what? Know my name. Know my name. Somebody, do you all know God's name? <laughs> oh. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him. And honor him. And honor him. God's going to with long life yeah. will I satisfy him and show him glory be to God. Somebody say long life. Long life. Long life. Amen. Um, glory be to God. Psalms 118. Psalms 118. You all have uh, memorized this, I believe. Glory be to God. Psalms 118. Amen. Woo. Uh, verse 15. Those that's tuning in. Psalms 118 verse 15. The voice of rejoicing and salvation is the tabernacles of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord do it vi violently. Now what, what does God's left hand do? Uh, does. You know God does some things with his left hand. I heard somebody say God is left handed. They had a trip to heaven. They was face to face with God. And God did something with his left hand. You know what he did? He went into his robe and pulled out something in front of this uh, saint that came back and shared his testimony. Guess what he pulled out? The sword. Woo, wow. He probably got some weapons on the midst of him on the inside. 
Yeah, y'all deep. I'm getting kind of like ready to listen down. <laughs> but he went and with his left hand. They, they looked at that left hand. God, left handed. But he may not be left. God's even handed. I don't know how to That's explain that. Yeah, because I know he does not. But you know how it is. And uh, you all, amen, are, are both handed. What do you call that? Ambidextrous. Yeah, so sometimes we use one of the other arms more than the other. But y'all both handed, amen. Y'all double, y'all got double, amen, blessings. Because it takes two hands to what? You get to, 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 to reel in what he want to release. That's why he put two arms. Because it takes, oh, 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 you got to, come on. And then that's why it's important to have friends, but God friends. Because they, they need to help you. They get in the position to help you to, to carry, to be able to embrace, to help you build. Amen. To help you to do God's will. We need people, don't we? Amen. But God giving people. Now, when the enemy sends somebody, if we love God, it's, it's going to hurt that betrayal. They're uh, blasting your name, talking about you. They're they running with you for three months. They seem to be cool for a season. Then they begin to betray you. They begin to slander and tell lies on you, steal from you, do something that'll cut you behind your back. You know, and so if you love God in the midst of that, boy, God said, I'll work it all out for your good. Even when the enemy sends people, you might then say, I saw them. I'm your father. I saw them. But if you love me and keep my commandment, I'll work it all out for your good. Amen. Praise God. And the right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord do it violently. And this scripture, you all know this by heart. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. The Lord hath chastened me sore, but he hath not given me over unto death. Somebody say, thank God. Thank God. Amen. The New Testament, Ephesians. Amen. This is us speaking of long life. Amen. There are different things we can do to uh, ex extend the uh, expectancy of our, our lives. Sometimes we, our lives are cut short due to uh, eating wrong, certain habits, uh, not following instructions, uh, you know, rebelliousness, uh, rejecting counsel, not honoring our mom and dad. That can cause our lives to be cut off. You know, different things can cause our life to be shortened. You know, maybe not exercising here and there. Sometimes we eat too much uh, fried foods, so much fried fish, uh, fried foods and things like that, and that can take its toll on our heart. That's the number one killer in humanity is heart disease. And the second cause of death is accidents. You know, vehicle or moving tra transportation accidents. Glory be to God. But amen, we shall live. Say that with me. We shall live. And not die. And, not and, not die. and, and declare, and declare the works of the Lord. The works of the Lord. And say, uh, those on the internet, uh, with long life, will God satisfy me? Because he has set his love upon me. The Father was in heaven, showed this vessel, his robe, and revealed himself the way that he did. He put his left hand in the garment. God, God has a garment. He put the left hand and poured something out. I like the way you all said, was it a weapon or so? But it was a rainbow. <laughs> poured it out and began to show this individual what he does with the rainbow. You know, it was just a very interesting thing. The Bible talks about God's right hand way more than it does his left hand. And so praise God, even in Psalms 91, amen, it looks like it says a thousand will fall at our, our right hand or something like that. All to our side and, and uh, two, amen, where there's two saints, uh, we'll be able to cast down 10,000 demons in sight. The power of agreement. One can chase away 1,000 demons in flight. Two, 
you can chase away 10,000. Some, some of the theologians are saying, now three saints, 100,000. Some say four saints due to the multiplication, a million. Wow. Glory be to God. You see, no wonder the devil wants us divided. No wonder we got Pentecostal and Apostolic, uh, Presbyterian, Lutheran, Catholic, Seventh-day Adventists, uh, Israel of God. No wonder we have uh, all of these different denominations. No wonder. You know, because the enemy, he don't want us to come on one accord. That's why he fights, amen, the body of Christ. But God's people hear his voice. I'll talk to Pastor Daniels about that. Jesus said, my sheep, they hear my voice. And a stranger they will not follow. Amen. Jesus is speaking to us. Glory be to God. Praise God. It says, um, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 1. Children, obey your parents in the Lord. For this is right. Right? Honor the father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise that it may be well with thee and thou mayest live long on the earth. Uh, Ephesians, I'm sorry, Ecclesiastes uh, chapter 12, it breaks it down, all of the different wisdom keys in the word and uh, the responsibilities of man, you know, and it's just an awesome chapter. It, talks, it shares a lot of wisdom in Ephesians. But you know that closing verse, it says, uh, this is the end, this is the whole duty of man, you know. And you all remember what that says? Fear God. I, uh, Fear God. Yes, and keep his commandments. Honor the king. Yes. So by the grace of God, you all can stand up for a moment. And we're just going to make, uh, those that's able to stand, we're going to make a few declarations. Amen. Because you all can say this, while, while I'm here, I will yet serve the Lord. I'm going to serve the Lord with gladness. I'm going to trust in the Lord. Lord, and, trust in the Lord. and do good. And do good. I can believe God. Say this after me. I can believe God. I can believe God for thirty years. For thirty years. Forty years. Forty years. I don't have to die. I don't have to die before my time. Before my time. Because God made a promise to me. God made a promise to me. With long life. With long life. Will he satisfy me? Will he satisfy me? I'm going to live. I'm going to live. To share the love of Jesus. To share the love of Jesus. I'm going to live. I'm going to live. To point people. To point people. In the right direction. In the right direction. I'm going to live. I'm going to live. To let this world know. To let this world know. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the way. The truth. Truth. And the life, and the life. No, man no man can come to the Father, to the Father. Except, except he come through Jesus Christ. Through Jesus Christ. And I'm going to live, I'm going to, live. To, use to use my gifts and talents my gifts and to advance yes. and to establish. To the kingdom of God on earth. Father, I embrace your long life. I command my body to line up right now with the word of God. I am strong. I am blessed. I am healed. I am victorious. I am more than a conqueror. Through him that loved me and gave himself for me. In Jesus' name. Amen. You all can put your hands together. Praise God. Glory be to God. Yes, Lord. Amen, amen. If anybody want to uh, get saved, amen, I can take your hand. If you, I feel like you need to be dedicated to your violence to the Lord.
and the family of you are. And I pray so that you can come out there to want to be saved. Those that want to be delivered from something. Amen. I got five minutes. Praise God. Those that need healing in their body. I got the oil in my bed. Amen. And I can begin to launch your head with oil. Praise God. Amen. What did you want God to do for you? Oh, okay. You want God to bless you. Okay, praise God. You, could you lift one of your hands? Okay, praise God. Father God, I thank you for Miss Mays. And she's asking for your blessings, Lord. Amen. Are you born again? Okay, praise God. Father, I thank you for giving her the full. And I thank you, Lord. Uh, she is fearfully and wonderfully made. God, the thoughts that you think to her are for thoughts of peace and not of evil. And we desire to give her an expected thing. And Jesus, I thank you that you're going to finish the work that you've begun. Thank you. You're going to give her the power through Jesus to walk your way. Because you get the desires to her to walk in righteousness and walk out your way. A natural man, a carnal man, a physical man, it will. Sometimes I don't want to do things, but she has a born again spirit within her. And it longs for God. It cries out for God. It wants to be a blessing. It wants her to be a mother to her children and cover her family. It wants to stretch out and cause miracle signs and wonders to take place. God, I ask you to bless her and begin to pour out your favor. Reward her for coming tonight. The devil tried to stop her. I turned the bill for around because I wasn't going to come back all the way up that way. By the grace of God, the angels, they were with us to get her to this service tonight. And Father God, I decree and declare right now the, uh, the compartments in her brain. I ask you to remove all the thinking, all of the reasoning, all the trying to figure things out, trying to solve the problems people coming to her every day, her own responsibility. Father God, I ask you, O oh God, to begin to remove that heaviness and that responsibility to try to work everything out and walk in perfection. She don't have to be perfect. She just needs to yield to you. And Father, I, by the keys of the kingdom of God, I cause every thought, all of the belief systems in her to be completely uh, uprooted. I shake it up right now with apostolic power in the name of Jesus. And I know it's going to be uprooted and unhooked. In her spirit, soul, and mind. And I command her to leave this woman right now. Everything that's not like God, I command her to leave. In the name of Jesus. Now I just ask you to begin to give her new vocabulary. God, give her new language. Give her heavenly visions. I thank you, Lord, for flowing through her, her spirit. It's going to come up to her mind. She's going to be able to think like the mind of Christ. Refresh her, renew her. I speak strength and healing in her body. God, let her dive in that world like never before. Let her sit quietly and begin to pray like never before. Whether her praise is high and her worship is deep, send the right people to help her. And I bless her now and thank you that your perfect will be prayed that will be done in her life. Show her your favor, God. Reveal yourself to her in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Anybody want to pray? Anybody want to be filled with the Holy Spirit on you? Okay. What? Okay. You need healing? take authority over the anger, over the worry, I take authority over all the anxiety, nothing of the words, everything that's dark and evil, I bind it up in the name of Jesus, it's trying to fluctuate and move through her spirit, soul, and mind. Now I cast it out, and I command it to go to the dry places right now. Go! In the name of Jesus. 
Now, Holy Spirit, I release you now. Remove every burden that's trying to you. Holy Spirit, refresh you. Heal the areas that's been down and overwhelmed, depressed, weighed down. All the areas of loneliness and just carrying the weight of the world. Holy Spirit, fill those places. We release your healing power. God, I know you're going to give her triple for her trials and tribulations. God bless you. And thank you, God, for the housing situation opening up. I thank you, God, for the power that you're going to bless her with. I thank you, Lord, for her ministry to flourish. She's going to be walking in apostolic multiplication, and she's going to walk in kingdom of God acceleration. You put a crown on her head, a scepter in her hand to rule and reign. And I praise you, God, for triple blessings to call upon this woman of God in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Jesus is on the main line. Tell him what you want. Jesus is on the main line. Tell him what you want. Jesus is on the main line. Tell him what you want. We got to call him up. Tell him what you want. Happy birthday to Richard. Happy birthday to Richard. Happy birthday to Mr. Richard. Happy birthday to you. He came to praise God on his birthday. He came to lift up Jesus on his birthday. He came to be in the mustard saints on his birthday. Amen. He had all kinds of plans. I looked at him. I looked, he looked in my eyes. I looked in his eyes. I said, wait a minute. I said, you want to come to service tonight? <laughs> he was looking around and he I was, had, I was, you know, I was oh cooking, man. I was cooking my dinner. And so he went in the house, turned the pot on, shut the lights on, regulated everything, put his jacket on, sure his, come. his uh, shoes on. Peanut peppers and everything. Amen. And he began to hop in the van. Glory to God. Out Amen. Out Amen. We thank God. Out. Praise God. I'm going to text everybody and call everybody and update you all. We got all kinds of flyers. Okay. We got all kinds of uh, updates. You know, people want to pass out food and all of that, clothes. You know, so we're going to work some things out through text and phone calls, all right? Amen. You can shake hands with your brothers and sisters. You can leave your prayer requests. Anybody that's believing God for some, I don't know. I don't care if it's personal or friends or family. Leave it in my inbox or text me. Amen. I'll be praying for people even in the next three hours. I don't mind praying. And that man I got in my inbox, I haven't forgot about you. Uh, I'll call you tonight if you're, you're tuning in. I forgot your name, but I saw it. There's just so much going on. I'll call you tonight, man of God. Amen. You got an apostle. You stay on the East Coast, South Carolina. You believe in God for those five things you listed. That you. I'll call you tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless everybody. Amen. We got to get out of here, you all. And we're going to have a trip, okay? So y'all let me know whoever get the most. When I count up the tally, aquarium. Millennium Park, we're going to see it and then we're going to go with the majority. Great America. Great America. Great America.